the losses, yeah. You know, um, different team. But, um, you know, you just got to find ways to win. Find ways to win in situations like this. You know, you got a losing streak. You got to find ways to pull them out of here. What were they doing differently maybe in the second half? Just seemed like you guys just couldn't uh, get good shots and just turned the ball over a lot. I don't know. What, what were they doing maybe a little bit differently defensively in the second half? Uh, credit to them. They're a good team. You know, they, um, they got disruptive in the second half, took us out of some of our stuff, and uh, turned minutes on the ball over. What does it take to start figuring out some answers? So the last couple of games, teams have been able to take you out of some things. What do you guys need to start doing to figure out how to get some uh, Preparation. You know, um, make adjustments in game and even in practice. How hard is it? Very hard. You know, it's a good team. Make adjustments. Not everybody can make adjustments, and that's what we got to work on. You know, from the outside, it just felt like earlier in the season, you guys were just controlling games. And, and right now, it just feels like you're on your heels and, and you're sort of responding to what they're doing. Is that, is that what it feels like out there on the court a little bit? Um, I wouldn't say I feel like we're we're out there responding to the team. You know, we're going to push the game every, every game the same way. But, um, yeah, you know, it's like I said, credit to them. They're a good team. They some of our stuff, but we'll get back to it. After the Maryland game, uh, it was Andre and DJ, I think we're talking about having to get this right in practice. Like, that's not something that just happens in a game. I guess for, for both of you guys, how did you feel about the preparation coming into this? Did you feel like you had made some strides in practice that told you maybe this would go the other way? Yeah, I thought we made big strides in our two-day prep that we had. I think we did uh, a real good job. We took uh, care of some things. We got some things cleaned up in practice. We just weren't able to translate to the game today. Guys, you've been around the through the league. It's, it's January 11th. You know, it's still a lot of time left. How much do you guys remind yourself and have to remind your teammates that you know, this isn't a sprint in the Big Ten? Yeah, you know, we talk about that a lot. There's a lot, of, a lot of games left, but you can't say that after every game. You know, you gotta, you gotta start picking up your stuff, and you guys get, get some stuff too. Andre, when you, uh, Caleb, when you, um, you guys were, were down early, came back, got the lead at halftime. What happened after that? I mean, it looks like you did, did the air go out of the balloon or something. Or? Um. Uh, a lot more turnovers in the second half, I feel like. Um, just like I said, credit to them, they're a good team. Uh, got, they were disruptive more in the second half. Uh, they just turned the ball over more. Getting Kyle back, how did that impact you guys? That's huge. It's huge. Kyle's a big part of our team. Just having that energy back and just the little things that he does definitely helps our team. Obviously, Coach Holman stresses defense well. and then so much of what it takes to get on the course defense. Dwayne spent a lot of time on the bench in this game. How did you see him handle that? And, and what is Coach preaching you guys as far as, even when the offense is struggling, that defense seems to come first? Yeah, there's something that he's been preaching since he got here is defense. I mean, if you're not going to the field, you can't play. But I think the way handled it well, I mean, he, just, he knows. He knows what he had to do, and he knew where he messed up. But he'll respond. I know the way he'll definitely respond. Guys, a couple of weeks ago, uh, Coach Holtman said there was a little too much individual play versus cohesive team play. Is that still? Sort of an issue, do you think, or what needs to be addressed there? At times, um, I feel like, you know, we get out of our stuff like that, but, you know, I don't feel like it's a, it's a huge problem right now. Like, it's like Jerry said, we made strides in practice. I feel like we're more uh, sharing the ball, and even in the first half, we shared the ball more than we did in the second half. But, like I said, you know, they, they got there a little more disruptive in the second half. We're more in the passing lanes, causing a little bit more turnovers. How great will it be to be back at home, finally, after this long trip here? Uh, it's going to be good, you know, it's playing in front of your own fans, but you know what I mean, you guaranteed a dub. How, how, how did you get a... caught you by surprise at all? Because you had a lot of big non-conference wins. Um, I feel like to some of our guys, maybe um, I put that on our older guys, that we didn't, we didn't prepare them enough for the Big Ten, you know, the physicality and, and what it takes to win the Big Ten. You know, I put that on maybe me and my, me and my older guys, and, and um, maybe we've got to step it up. What's the number one thing you have to do to get out of this funk and get back going? Uh, like Dre and DJ said, you know, start some practice. You know, you gotta you gotta make these plays in practice so they translate to the game. You can't go out and practice and not box out, not play physical, and turn the ball over and then expect to come out here and, and it's gonna change. I agree. Have you had any kind of players only meeting at all to kind of sift through this? I mean, not pointing, calling people out, but just a players only meeting to kind of slow things down. Right? No, we haven't had any players only meeting. I mean. Really, like we've been saying, it's practice. Our practice habits got to get better. And once they get better, you know, we're going to turn this thing around. It's all practice habits. Andre, you talked after Maryland about being a senior and not wanting to see this sort of stuff happen. You had eight points early and the offense wasn't working. It seemed like you were keeping a few things going. What was your approach to this game? I'm not trying to lose four in a row. 
That's that's it. It's my last year. I'm not trying to lose corner up. That's it. Which I can't do. I'll try to put put this on DJ, but he had seven turnovers in the game today. Just uh, you feel this is a game he can learn from and 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 understand that you don't have to play at 100 miles per hour. You know, and try and create something that's not there at times. I don't know what. What do you guys say to him after a game like this? Yeah, that's why we love DJ. He responds to things like this. You know, he has a game like this. You know, he's gonna respond. He's gonna come out and practice, and he's gonna take care of the ball. And he's he knows he knows he's he's a freshman. And we know that he's gonna make some mistakes, but he also knows we, we need him in big times, and he can't we can't afford him to turn the ball over like that. So, you know, we we're gonna talk to him, and he goes he's gonna respond. Caleb, can you explain? Only four teams so far have won on the road in the Big Ten. What's the big difference this year? You know, teams is it's the ten. It's like every year, you know, you can't. There's no guarantee wins in the ten anywhere. Home, away, everybody's good. So you never know who's going to win on any given night. But the road, I mean, is it, is, is it more difficult now to win on the road than has been in the past? Uh, I would say so. I mean, it's, it's basketball at the end of the day. So you you got to come out there and play tough anytime you wherever you at. It's always tight at forty to ninety. Those are a pretty big run. What did you see over those next few minutes that were different? Uh, like like I've been saying, you know, just turning the ball over. I feel like we had a lot of unforced turnovers, and and even them turning us over, being more disruptive. And I feel like we just gotta take care of the ball more.